This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, good day to you, and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers Discussion. Here on the channel today, back in the studio, back home after a weekend away of just relaxing, kicking back, and watching some dogs. But uh, friends, let me tell you, the Oilers, they have had a pretty busy news week, despite me not really posting much at all. But uh, obviously, I think it's a lot of just this or that kind of rumbling out of the ground and kind of coming to the foreground right now as we get set up for the NHL draft, which is now 10 days away. The buyout window is open. Trades are happening. Rights are being swapped. All kinds of things are going on across the NHL. Well, in the battle of that, the Oilers are trying to determine next year's roster. What happens with this guy? What happens with that guy? We had Brett Pesci come up, which is a really interesting piece because of something else that was mentioned, I believe, on The Athletic today, uh, not today, but this week, about Evan Bouchard and the potential of an offer sheet. We'll discuss more on that in a matter of moments, friends, if I could quit tripping over my words. If you're new to the channel, I want you to consider hitting that subscribe button, though. I uh, just want you aboard for what's going to be a very busy summer here in Edmonton. I'm sure it'll die down about July 31st all the way to... Uh, somewhere in there, couldn't hit the button right, uh, somewhere around August 15th it'll start picking up again, but as it is right now, obviously enjoy summer, enjoy what you can, because this week proves it, it can rain any time, and that rain kind of sucks in terms of sucking the fun out of summer, however bad we need it, we need the rain bad, so I'm not going to complain about it, I'm just saying like you have summer plans, it eh, kind of ruins the day on the lake when it rains, anyway, enough about that, let's get into it, Evan Bouchard, offer sheet, the whole shebang, well, how does that all factor in for the Edmonton Oilers? Here's the thing, right? We know Evan Bouchard is going to sign anywhere between three to probably about five million dollars, whether it be an offer sheet, whether it be with the Edmonton Oilers, whatever the deal may be, long term, short term, medium term. There's going to be a number north of at least three million dollars offered to Evan Bouchard to keep his services as a member of the Edmonton Oilers. What I will preface, 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 preface is the word. Uh, preface this with for you right now is of course i to my knowledge i read a lot about the oilers i hear a lot about the oilers day to day i have not heard that evan bouchard is unhappy as a member of the edmonton oilers i have not heard that evan bouchard wants a huge astronomical number that the oilers aren't willing to agree to right that that's that's what we're going with is evan bouchard does not want out he is not unhappy he is absolutely content being a member of the Edmonton Oilers running the number one power play in the NHL and the postseason and obviously too enjoying life with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl driving the forwards game so um, when it comes down to this how it all plays out for me in my mind is that yes will some team try and offer sheet Evan Bouchard I believe so it's it's, it's the smart play to make right you can get a number one power play defenseman you can get a nice middle pairing defenseman you can go out there and do it but what you need to know about an offer sheet is that the player has to sign it right somebody can offer Evan Bouchard an offer sheet but unless he signs it the Oilers are not inclined to do anything unless Evan Bouchard agrees to sign the offer sheet the Oilers do not have to match the Oilers do not have to give up draw nothing has to happen right Nothing has to change for the Oilers if Evan Bouchard gets an offer sheet, say from Montreal, Arizona, Ottawa, somewhere like that, and they're like, hey, come over with us. Here's six and a half million dollars for the next eight years. Come on, let's be our guy. He, he can simply say no and nothing changes, right? That's the beautiful part of an offer sheet. So that's kind of the number one thing I wanted to calm down right now is obviously Evan Bouchard, Ryan McLeod, whether they get offer sheets or not, they have to actually sign them. And usually if you sign an offer sheet, you're either looking for a much larger payday than your team is willing to offer and that's your way to get it from them or you're unhappy here and you want out and that's the other team willing to give up some compensation to get you at whatever deal, i.e. Eh, not really the uh, Yasperi Cook Kanyami, but um, kind of like, you know what I mean. It, it's kind of one of those things. Anytime you see those situations, there's a lot more build up. There's a lot more angst amongst everybody involved to get to the oof, can't talk today get to the conclusion of an offer sheet whereas I really don't see Evan Bouchard pressing hard to get out of Edmonton pressing hard for more money so an offer sheet at this point yeah logically makes sense I get where 
the reporting is coming from. I get where everyone else's opinions are coming from, but it's one of those things where I just don't see how Evan Bouchard is willing to do that given what he's got in Edmonton, right? He knows that the cap, just like everybody else in the NHL knows, the cap is going up substantially in the next few years. Whether people want to believe that or not, it just physically, the NHL will not be able to operate unless it goes up substantially in the next two, three years. So for the Oilers, right, you know that all you have to do is get a decent number. I've talked about four to four and a half for Evan Bouchard this whole time. Well, guess what? You get him in there, two-year deal. You know what? He's happy. You buy some years. You get him into that UFA range where now, you know what? You can talk the big dollars because bang, in a couple more years, he's going to be a UFA and you need to throw those big dollars or somebody else will in a couple years time. So that's where I think Evan Bouchard's got absolutely nothing to lose by staying with the Oilers and everything to gain by staying with the Oilers because you think about his numbers, right? If you if you want to Edmonton two years from now, three years from now, you think about the numbers you put up this season in half a year on the power play with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, and then in the postseason, the playoffs with that group, you think about what you'd be capable of doing, especially once your five on five is figured out now that you've got Matthias Ekholm out there. Guess what? It is absolutely unbelievable what Evan Bouchard could do next season. You think Eric Carlson had a good year this past year. Think about what Evan Bouchard could do this season with the Edmonton Oilers, right? We got a taste of it this year, but just think next year. It could be absolutely unbelievable. We're talking like probably numbers you haven't seen in an Edmonton Oilers uniform since at least Pronger, since probably Paul Coffey. Like that's the kind of range that Evan Bouchard could project out to if the power play is doing what it did down the stretch and in the playoffs this past season. So now again, right, is everyone going to be content that a defenseman's putting up points on the power play and that's all that matters? No, because if that was the case, everybody would love Tyson Berry. We would have a bronze statue of him out front of Rogers Place right next to Wayne Gretzky and it would all have been fine. But also you got to remember, Evan Bouchard's a young guy still. He's developing. He's coming along. He's taking that offensive step. That defensive step is next. It came along a little bit under Matthias Ekholm's tutelage. It is going to be fantastic. So... When I say Evan Bouchard's got nothing to lose by staying with the Oilers, everything to gain by staying with the Oilers, and really no incentive to sign an offer sheet, where is my concern level with Evan Bouchard signing an offer sheet? Uh, nowhere, because it doesn't exist, because it doesn't need to, right? That's kind of what I'm getting at here is, yes, is it something that some other team's going to probably try and do? Is it going to be drama for three days in Oilers land? Yes. But is Evan Bouchard even going to get as far as to sign the offer sheet, in my humble opinion, no. Because why? Be Literally, sit here and ask yourself, why? And that is all it, uh, all it needs to come down to for the Edmonton Oilers and Evan Bouchard at current is there's no incentive by the player to sign an offer sheet because you're not going to get those career high numbers that you will over the next two, three years if you sign a bridge deal in Edmonton somewhere else. It just, it's physically impossible for a guy like Evan Bouchard. Um, not saying he is only going to be able to benefit off a of plane with Leon Dreisel and Connor McDavid, but you're talking about, we saw the best year yet from Connor McDavid, a pretty dang good year from Leon Dreisel too, but we're talking about the best two to three years Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisel likely will ever have in the NHL are the next two to three years. And Evan Bouchard is the one standalone defenseman on the back end that gets to play on the top power play unit next year to begin. Uh, I don't. I don't. How, how do you leave that? You. You know what? If you can answer me, how Evan Bouchard could reasonably leave for more money when money is not currently the issue in discussion, and give up playing with Connor McDavid and Leon Drysaddle in their "quote unquote" prime over the next two to three years with the chance to win the Stanley Cup that we have, um, then maybe we can talk about why we need to be concerned about an offer sheet. But at current, I see no reason. Friends, in lieu of adding a second commercial to this uh, whole broadcast today, why don't I just once again ask you here at the end, I've been sloppy for it lately. If you're new to the channel, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe button. You just got a nine and a half minutes uh, free trial of what it's all about. Oh, by the way, subscribing is free, so you get a lifelong free trial, right? Bingo. Uh, sales guy. 
Anyway, um, you have a great rest of the afternoon. Do your things that you're doing today, and we will talk to you tomorrow, Monday, when I'm sure a new week dawns and a whole bunch more crazy stuff comes out into the woodwork of Edmonton Oilers, rumors, trades, everything here on this offseason in 2023. I'm Tyson, this is Stolen the TV. I am up on out of here.